Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian and this is Tech Therapy. Today's video or topic is on OLED burn-in. Still a fear? Still something you worry about? Or is it a thing of the past? Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me. As I mentioned, the topic is OLED burn-in. This was the biggest fear and biggest detractor of OLED technology, much like plasma before it. Expensive, beautiful, unobtainable, and then burn-in was always there to be able to say, I want nothing to do with that. Burn-in is the fear. It was quite a horror for many of you and a reason to stay away from the technology. Now, is it a current problem or is it a fear better left in the past or something that we used to worry about? You don't hear about it so much anymore. However, as OLED prices have fallen and QD OLED has arrived, Many of you are asking me about burn-in as now OLED is something you can afford. There are many more sizes of OLEDs. There's 43, 48, there's 77, 83, 55, 65. There are different series and each manufacturer to choose from now. They are very affordable. Plasma before it had burn-in and uh, image retention issues that was well and much like OLED plasma was extremely expensive and hated for that reason for me plasma was a dream and we did have the last few years or the last year of plasma with the Panasonic ST60 and S60 where they were finally affordable and then they were gone image retention burn-in not as big a concern in the last few years of plasma but in a blink they were gone. OLED came in and replaced that fear with a new fear. I love these panels. However, I can't have this burning in my screen. We've all heard horror stories. Now, I do have footage of actual burn-in in the wild. And instead of it being in store, which I've seen in the last number of years, namely with the C7, C8, and the C9 from LG, I have never seen burn-in on Sony panels. Then again, they haven't been around nearly as long as LG. However, I've only seen it in store. Today, I do have footage of burn-in in the home. Let me know what you think of this footage. Did you see it? How about now?
that is an LG C8 from a few years ago. The C8, the C9 are among my favorite OLEDs of all time. I feel LG had a very vibrant image. Uh, they're still vibrant and bright now, where they may be brighter now. There was a vibrancy and a saturation that the C8 and C9 had that I feel LG has moved away from. But they still look amazing, they are amazing. But back then, even though they had the same OLED care features, which are Pixel Orbiter now, they had Pixel uh, Shift, they had uh, Logo Luminance, they had some of those, I'll show you the menu from the C8, or I already did in that footage. First of all, it's amazing how the C8 still looks absolutely amazing until i showed you the actual burn-in now what's funny about us as influencers or youtubers is recommending oleds you'll ask do we have burn-in and even though i have a c1 behind me a cx an a80j admittedly uh creators and influencers don't have time to watch much content and though i game on this panel and though i watch movies and everything else they don't really have the hours on them even though this is a c1 last generation there aren't that many hours on them my response to that is that's why i keep um tabs on friends of mine that have bought OLEDs in the past. I've recommended them. Uh, my parents have a B8. You're seeing my friends C8, my other buddies A1E, A8G, A8F. I've kept track of these OLEDs and before the shutdown, I actually spent time going to each one's home and filming those to see how the burn-in is or if there is burn-in of any kind. This use after the lockdown is the first time I saw burn-in on this C8. So that burn-in is actually pretty recent considering I've been there in the past and never noticed it, but noticing it on soccer, that's where they started to see it. It was the Bloomberg ticker, a lot of news, a lot of keeping the panels on for hours and hours and hours, falling asleep with them on. Now, is it a thing of the past? Um, special shout out to Andrew and Jim of Best Buy. I spoke to them yesterday where I shot this B-roll of the Samsung S95B, which they have now. Andrew has seen burn-in on OLEDs in store, but not since the C9. The CX, C1, C2, um, they would loop these really quick uh, logos for Best Buy and other things. I've seen burn-in in Target. And they would shut the panels off at one power supply, not allowing the panel to shut off on its own. Now, those panels are now more efficient. We have heat sinks. We have more uh, better pixel orbiters. We have better logo luminance uh, safeguards in place. Sony's I've never seen burn in, though they do get image retention, it does dissipate. But keeping an eye on these panels, admittedly also influencers don't keep their panels for very long. This C1 is on its way out. I will be selling it and moving on to something else. Not because of burn in, because it's advantageous for me as a creator to have new panels to show you guys. Now I wanna talk about another creator and very good friend of mine, Mr. Brass Tax. Many of you know Brass Tax from YouTube. He is a very good friend from the UK. We've gotten very close over the last number of years and we have a lot of collaboration plans happening very soon. One of them is this very topic as a brass has an LG CX at 77 inches. So think C8, C9, CX. CX was considered to be the very first safe OLED in terms of you don't have to baby it. Brass has over 5,000 hours on the 77 inch CX of all types of content. Gaming, movies, he does various content but not consciously. He doesn't do it on purpose. What he does from time to time after long playing sessions is simply shut it off. What I do after long playing sessions and it's not really necessary is i have a youtube playlist is what you see behind me which is full screen very colorful what i want are the pixels to reset do something else other than remaining on that hud of a game that i play then i shut the panel off after five minutes i still recommend that however many of you don't do that and have had no issues where brass has gamed long campaigns ghost of shishima horizon zero dawn spider-man games with huds that are 14 15 40 hours long assassin's creed multiplayer games he is quite the gamer and has 
no issues at all. He doesn't force a pixel refresh. So the reason why I bring Brass up, it's someone I speak to daily. I know his use case. I know his usage, what he's using it for, and he has absolutely no problems, which is why I feel like it's a thing of the past, why I wanted to show you a C8. Now, many of you do have fears with the S95B not having a heat sink. There is some rumors that there is burning already in store. I have not seen that. Please let me know if you have any modern OLEDs, if you have them burn in or you've had issues with them. Not just issues. I know our good friend Jennifer Gala has had some challenges with her C2. Hopefully that gets replaced. That is not burning. That is some horizontal lines and hopefully LG takes good care of her. I want to hear more if you've seen burn-in um, and you've had it yourself. I have not seen the S95B have any issues. The A95K does have a heat sink. The G2 has a heat sink, keeping the panels very cool. However, they are more efficient. QD OLED should not burn in. The fear for the S95B is it started off very bright and then was updated and was limited a bit. That may be to save the panel. I don't know, I have nothing to prove that on or any examples for you. I don't have any fear that it's gonna burn in uh, the A95K or the S95B. That's easy again for me to say as a YouTuber who switches these things in and out. So hard to tell you an S95B or an A95K, they are still relatively new panels, which is why I brought up brass tacks in the LG CX and I gave you the example of the LG C8. For me, I don't have any fur, uh, fear of burning. Again, I use them often. I still feel that I keep myself, um, I do add my safety demos at the end of my long play styles. Why do I do that for myself here versus what Brass does at his place? Brass's TV is his main TV, meaning he does vary the content even if it's unintentional. This is a home theater TV. I do feel the difference is you can game on the same multiplayer game night after night after night shut it off and go through the rest of the house. Meaning this panel may see the same content day after day after day. So in order to protect myself, what I do is simply make a group of our um, collection of my favorite demos that are full screen. They are colorful. And if I do feel that I haven't varied the content enough, I will run that. Other than that, I do feel it is a thing of the past. Now in closing, I did do a poll before this video and I will put that up on screen for you guys now. And in the past, burn-in was the biggest fear other than cost as a reason to avoid burn-in. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, due to the prices dropping on the A80K, A80J, um, the C1, the C2, um, even Vizio having OLEDs now, they've become something you guys are now pulling the trigger on. And that fear becomes real when you're about to make a purchase. Again, situationally, if you look at the poll, 38%, I believe that's the number, um, are weary of it for the simple fact of situational use case, meaning gaming and even children. The rest don't fear it. Um, much at all and a very small percentage are like heck no I'm all set so I think that is real progress I hope this video has helped show you burn in how it happened again a lot of news older panel back in the day where the OLED care was not nearly as efficient. The panels themselves weren't efficient and it was hours upon hours upon hours and even not seeing them burning anymore in store. I've been in many Best Buys and even Costco's where those panels are there for over a year running for many, many hours and I haven't seen it again. So I do fully think it's a thing of the past. I would still be mindful. They are high-end products as I mentioned people do feel hey it's mine I can do what I want with it and I've always used the analogy yeah you can also take a Lamborghini off-road as well they are more durable than you think they're awesome um, and they are there more than LEDs now so I think you can safely make the purchase and I will finish the video saying that yes burn-in was a concern but I do believe it's more a thing of the past than something you really need to worry about.
I hope this helps. I'm Brian from Brian's Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Love you guys.